Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Um, uh, I'm going a little bit earlier because I'm uh, in some friend's house using their internet, so I don't want to bother him for long. And uh, I hope we will be able to finish this uh, just to give some answers to Muslims. As you see in the beginning of the screen, before we start streaming, uh, we posted a comment made by a Muslim. And the comment was simple. That's okay. Well, if Islam is bad, then how come uh, the Arab, they did not leave Islam? Now, you know, it looked like uh, always we, we deal with people who have a little tiny education. You can go right now and search. You will find that your Islamic history full of stories about the, the, what it's called the War of Apostate. The War of Apostate simply as soon as the Arab, not the Persian, not the Hindus, not the, the Arab, as soon as they heard that Muhammad is dead. So when somebody uh, say or make such a statement, obviously he is not being honest and he is not telling the truth. I'm not sure if you guys hear me. Am I heard, uh, people? Uh, tell me, please, if my voice is coming good and clear from your side. So this person who said that if, if Islam is bad, then the Arab is the first to leave it. The Arab, they left Islam the same day your prophet died, not even the second day, They're not even a week after. They heard the news that Hitler, he died, and the same day they deny Hitler. So when you say such a statement for me, not only you're trying to deceive us, you're trying to deceive yourself, because I know for sure that every Muhammad and he knew that there is something called the war of apostate. And the war of apostate is very simple. Anyone, this is why it's called the war of apostate. Anyone leave Islam, kill him. And this is something established by your prophet. Read with me here, and this is Sahih. This is not a fabrication by somebody. This is your story written by you Muslims, printed to us by you, and published by you. So thank you very much for doing that. When the Messenger of Allah died, Abu Bakr was appointed as a caliphate after him. And some of the Arab disbelieved. The fact, not some, tens of thousands. Oh, we are talking ten of thousands at the time. The Muslims, they were a small number still. And then Omar, may Allah pleased with him, said to Abu Bakr, because Abu Bakr decided to go and do jihad against him. He said, oh, Abu Bakr, how we can fight when the messenger of Allah said, I've been commanded to kill. You see here the word fight, fight in Arabic is to kill. Uqatil, coming from the word qatala, which means kill. The people until they say la ilaha illallah, which means to say the shahada, and to say Muhammad is his prophet. And if they say that, they are protected. Abu Bakr, he answered him, well, this is not the only condition of Islam. The only Muhammad, he added that if they don't do this and that and that, then they are still not Muslims. So then he says, uh, Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I will surely fight those who separate prayer and zakat, for zakat is what do on wealth. Islam is a gang based on collecting money, and the whole purpose of it is making a, a, a group of uh, uh, people who they are called the, let us say, the high rank of Islam, the friends of Muhammad, Muhammad and his gang, the first people who join the gang. Those people, they have to stay in wealth and we make them worthy. This is why the caliphate, they used to have thousands of women slaves. So he will fight them even if they hold a goat from me, even if they hold a small young goat from me, as you see in the hadith, this is not my word. So the war of our state happened from the beginning, just right after Muhammad died. And the reason, if you say to me, uh, like Islam is growing, as you said, by number, and you mentioned that Muslim today are 1.8 billion. The funny is that uh, uh, the first time I heard the number was from the King of Jordan. But two months ago, before that, I heard the number was 1.6. So Muslims, they increased 200 millions in less than two months. I think this is very accurate number. My friend, those numbers are fake and they are stupid. 
give a freedom to Muslims and let us see how many of them they stay Muslims and if you don't believe me go walk in Europe and see how many Muslim girls are Muslims and how many Muslim men are Muslims you're a prophet he said and look like you are saying your prophet is a liar again because your prophet saying as we see in the front of us narrated that the messenger of Allah said he who uh, changed his religion kill him so anyone who changes religion kill him so how we will know how many Muslims there is it's impossible because nobody would dare especially you are making it clear well if you change it we will kill you unless people have a freedom then we will find here your prophet saying something else and this is your prophet saying a prophecy Islam is started as something strange We're strange here a gharib you know gharib you are a stranger when you are one in a community like we call somebody stranger because let us say uh, I am from England and then I moved to uh, Saudi Arabia so people they call me the Englishman why because there's only one Englishman in the whole country so Islam is started as a strange which means few people believe in this cult and then few will believe in it at the end of the time so your prophet he made a prophecy saying that the same Islam started the same Islam will end which means Islam is dying and is going to die and almost few only will believe in the cult of Islam and as you see look what this uh, uh, verily Islam as it started something strange and it would again uh, revert to the old position of being strange just as it started and it would re uh, recede between the two mosques just just as serpent grows back into its hole your prophet he you know he described Islam the same as the snake hole snake and the hole I mean how 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 your prophet he compare his religion and his God to a snake going inside its hole you tell me obviously Muhammad he knew exactly what kind of religion he had this religion it is a snake and is going to go back to its hole and by the help of people like me who are making that snake go back to the hole again so fast so when somebody he say those things Islam is growing Islam is dying my friend those numbers are fake stupid they don't make any sense uh, like you know when we say Indonesia is a Muslim country this is not accurate the number of Christian Indonesia and there's other religions they count everybody in Indonesia as a Muslim but no this is not true Indonesia is a major the major number is Muslims but there is tons of millions who they are not Muslims but when they count the numbers they say okay at Indonesia at Pakistan at Bangladesh as, as even China so those numbers are stupid however let your numbers help you it's a big number a small number Christianity is the biggest number ever in history for any belief and we are the one who is growing however we cannot count we will not do the same as Muslims as an example can we say France all of it Muslim the Christians that's stupid to say no France is not so don't we don't calculate and this is not really important Jesus he has only 12 disciples just a 12 and then one of them he betray him does that mean Jesus was wrong at that time with the 12 only so it's a very stupid argument and very funny argument uh, atheism is big in number uh, Buddhas the Hindus I mean this is silly numbers mean nothing numbers never meant anything uh, you know a lot of people smoke but none of them is right so my friend you are the same as somebody smoke but in this case in your case the smoke is coming from your ears and from your nose and from your head you are burning to see the truth and instead of giving us answers about the things we showed you in the previous video you caught for us saying how come Islam is, is a growing in number that is a stupid same time when you say to me there is uh, uh, people convert to Islam most of people who convert to Islam they leave Islam and not only that they will become the worst enemy to Islam sooner or later and there is many examples of those people who converted to Islam and then when they discover they converted because they lied to them especially when they are young like 16 years 17 years old teenage and then by time they grow and they see that this is a stupid cult this is not what they told me scientific in the Quran science in the Quran discovery in the Quran and then we find that all of this is nothing but a lie so people leave Islam left and right so my friend try something better now if there is any uh, any Muhammadan 
uh, in the chat he would like to give me a question or he want to make a comment please feel free I would be happy to see you all right uh, but as you see we are the Arab we are the one who made Islam and we are the one who will destroy it and look at this I mean you are so proud about your religion but are you proud about what exactly uh, look let me let me go here hmm. how many Muslim today don't play music listen to music watch TV and drink how many your prophet according to him those people Allah will make them pigs and monkeys all of you Muslims listen to music watch TV and not only TV actually according to Google number one who watch bad TV stations you know what I'm talking about I'm trying to be polite number one country in the world is Pakistan I mean hello and what they are looking for you can go to Google and search you know sex with you know animals so don't give me a speech about how many Muslims you have and look what your prophet said. I heard the prophet saying who is the one saying that your prophet not me so don't blame me for something your prophet he said he heard the prophet saying from among my followers there will be some people who will consider illegal sexual intercourse well all Islam is illegal sexual I mean this Muhammad is really funny he allow muta he allow muta which is what it is prostitution and then he allow man to have four women which obviously illegal because you know you want to have four in, in the purpose of what I mean what is the purpose of a man having four you tell me if you love a woman you stay with the women you know uh, the first woman you marry have the same body as the second woman so why you want to get the second woman and why you want to get the third woman and why you want to get the fourth woman that is a prostitution that is illegal sexual enter this is a called a lost because you want to have many as many as you can one is not enough you want to have two three four and not you don't stop you just keep going you keep going changing because there is no limit for how many women you can have you can have four at the time but you can replace them every day if you want every every five minutes if you want legally so what kind of religion is religion is and then he said wearing silk you know wearing silk is haram right wearing silk you are do you wear jeans made by the kuffar I can show you different hadith where it says if you if you close yourself the same as the kuffar you are one of them if you eat like them you are one of them if you listen to to what they listen to you are one of them if you talk like they talk you are one of them I mean so what is left of you Muslims you dress like the kuffar you you talk like the kuffar and now you are you forgot about like even the Arab they are not using Arabic no more then and drinking alcoholic drink and use a musical instrument how many Muslims in the world today don't listen to musical instrument be honest one of a million or one of ten million I never saw a Muslim all my life don't listen to music and he danced with it never actually even Al-Qaeda they are playing music <laughs> so your prophet saying those who listen to music they are uh, kuffar and look not only they are kuffar look what Allah will do to them he said <clears throat> and after that will be some people who will stay near the side of the mountains in the evening there is a, a shepherd will come to them they are the sheep and ask them for something but they will say to him return to us tomorrow Allah will destroy them first of all here you notice Muhammad is being a false prophet because what shepherd what mountains what we are talking about now today we have a helicopter we have a Boeing 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 777 you know so your prophet is still talking about the end of the time we will have shepherd and we will have uh, 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 what is that and then he says Allah will destroy them during night I like it Allah destroying us during night not during daytime I mean night time is better it will let the mountain fall on them and he will transfer the rest of them into monkeys and pigs here we go so according to your prophet if you listen to music any of those listen to music drinking alcohol doing illegal sexual intercourse which is funny because all of Islam the first one who do adultery in, is Muhammad himself if you do any of that Allah will make you monkey and pigs then they will remain like this until the day of resurrection <laughs> so my friend if your prophet is a true true prophet how come none of those things happen 
can you show me one Muslim who uh, listened to music, Allah make him a pig and a monkey, enter the day of resurrection? Can you show me one Muslim who drink alcohol, Allah made him pig and a monkey, or make mountains for them? I mean, obviously, your prophet is saying to us clearly that Islam is a silly cult, and I say things will never happen, and you are Abdul, you have to accept you like it or not, because if you don't accept it, if you change your religion, we kill you. All right? So when you speak about Islam growing, Islam is dead. Islam dead. This is why Muhammad, he says, the one who changes religion, kill him. If nobody will change his religion anyway, why Muhammad, why Muhammad want to make such an order? I mean, Islam is growing, right? So what, what he's worried about? Because Islam is fake. Islam is false. And actually, we will find that even the one who was writing the Quran to Muhammad, Abdullah ibn Sarah, he left Muhammad because he discovered Muhammad is nothing but a scam. So don't give me a speech about your numbers. By numbers, everybody is bigger than you. Christians, atheists, even, I'm not sure about the Hindus, but I think who, the Hindus and Buddhists together, they will make a lot bigger than you. So this is a very funny, silly statement from a Muhammadan. And instead of answering us about stupid things we showed you in the previous verses in the Quran last time, he posed such a comment. And this is what always I notice from Muslims. You talk about potato, they switch to talk about tomato. Like, you know, you show him how stupid the Quran, literally. And then he starts saying, okay, Jesus is not God. Okay, hold on, hold on. So by ignoring the mistakes in the Quran and saying to me, Jesus is not God. And what about you? I mean, you, you could not answer why the Quran is a silly book. Now, as long as we are here talking about Quran being silly, if there is any Muslim here would like me to show him something silly, or maybe there is a Muslim want to show me something smart. What do you think, guys? If there is a Muhammadan in the chat would like to show us something smart in the Quran, just to show you this is a stupid religion. They lie to Western. They say to them, this is a book full of miracles, science, science, history. I mean, this is the most stupid, silly book ever. Who want to show me that? Anyone? The kindness of Allah. What kind of Allah? Look, 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 this is the kindness of Allah. Let us see the kindness of Allah. Guys, somebody says the kindness of Allah. Okay, Allah is so kind to the point. He says to Muslims, cut hands and cut fingers and enjoy torturing. Right? You see how kind he is? That's very kind. That's very kind. Look how kind this God. What do you think about this? This is the kind God? Okay, you have enemy, you want to fight them. Why you want to cut their necks? And then after that, you start cutting their fingers. What? What is that? What about crucifixion to people? Torturing. I mean, when Muslims they say about kindness, what kindness? What, what is the kindness of uh, 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 Muhammad marrying a child? Is that the kindness of a man who claimed to be a prophet at the age of 54? You show your kindness to, to children by ha by raping them? So when they speak about kindness, what is your kindness? Not right now, to 2019. Go and see what, what, uh, what Islam is. The Islam is the true Muslims who follow Allah, what they did. From rape to killing to murdering uh, to, to torture to kidnap. I mean, you name one crime is exists in the history of a human being. Is not a practice right now as we speak and under the name of Allah and nobody dare to say this is not right and as long as we are mentioning Isis and Al-Qaeda there is a very simple question why Isis and Al-Qaeda were not successful is that because America is fighting them no Russia no because Muslim don't want Islam as simple as that look <clears throat> Algeria the majority of the country we can say maybe 95 percent muslims and they have a law if somebody convert to islam uh, to, to christianity he will be jailed but still a lot of people live in islam i'm talking about the numbers of the government same as morocco same as tunisia same 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 so why don't have islamic government what the reason why algeria is a practice in the french law why morocco is a practice in the french law why egypt What's wrong? I mean, what's wrong with you, Muslim? You have you have the best law, supposedly, or the law of Allah. It's written in front of you, and as you see, 
but none of you because simply you wanna you wanna listen to music you wanna watch TV you wanna have a cell phone and you wanna drive a car your prophet even saying if you if you if you use anything the kuffar do you are one of them actually even your prophet he forbid you from using even uh, agriculture uh, tools so who's going to feed you today you will go bankruptcy Islam is impossible to follow because it's stupid cult Muhammad in his time he just want a bunch of criminals to join him in his crimes if you go here in the hadith we will find where your prophet he says that if any home the equipment of uh, agriculture enter this home Allah will, bro will bring curse on it so who's going to feed you donation from European as what happened now in Turkey Erdogan is begging to feed the refugee who they are Muslims while all the Muslims are watching and the only one is feeding them is Europe more than four billion dollar given from Europe to Erdogan four billion where is the Muslims the kuffar are feeding your people here we go we will find this <coughs> And uh, we will go back to those hadith because they are funny and showing you who is who is Muhammad. Let us see. Look, this is Sahih Bukhari, so you cannot say to me this is weak, this is stupid, this is not true. I saw some agriculture equipment and said, I heard the Prophet saying, There is no house in which those equipment enters except Allah will cause humiliation to enter it. Can you follow Islam with this? This one alone is enough to make you not to be able to follow Islam. That's mean all Islamic countries should not have any agriculture equipment. So who is going to make your food for you? You attack the neighbors, the Christians and the Jews. Yes, exactly. That's what Muhammad he want. He wanted you never to have any settlement where you can just live a civil life. He wants you to be like the Viking, like the Tatar, like a uh, Genghis uh, Khan attacking nation after nation and you take their money and their women and if you do farming you know that's mean Islam is over and as you see Islam is over Allah will enter humiliation to any house those things are the house here in this case is Morocco as an example Morocco is a house house of the Muslims name of a country in Morocco they have a lot of agriculture Tunisia I mean all of you so what kind of a prophet and what kind of request this request is? This is stupid. This is not only not right. This is stupid, and this is uh, 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 you know cannot be from God. This I mean this is this is madness. Who's going to make your bread for you? Where you where, who's going to grow the, the the crops for your bread? Where you get your tomato from? So what you how, how you can live, Muslims? What you will have at home? And remember, we are talking about the time of Muhammad where, I mean, either you grow sheep or you have, you grow, you grow crops. Otherwise, what is the second job? You work in, in, in McDonald's? What is the jobs are available? So if I cannot do this, what I would do? Where I will get my food from? Food, food, you know, a human being without food cannot live. We are not cars who work by electricity and we charge electricity. So your profit and your religion is too stupid to the point nobody can follow and you Muslims because you refuse Islam you don't want to follow that name for me one Muslim country don't have a, a ministry for agriculture not only you have the equipment you have a ministry called the ministry of agriculture which means all your Muslims refuse the teaching of Muhammad and say hey Muhammad you are our prophet because we have to and you know there's some crazy people will kill us but in reality check you are just an idiot. If even Mr. Bean did not say such a thing. You know, Mr. Bean? Even Zechariah did not come with this. A brother and sister. The prophet did. Imagine Zechariah, he go and read this hadith for all people in Pakistan and say, or in India, that a brother and sister, that the prophet did, that nobody can do anything. Okay. Then the Indian, they die. They are already poor. I'm talking about the Indian Muslims now, if, if we can call them Indian Muslim. So uh, what about Pakistan, Bangladesh? Already they are dying from poor. And now you say to them, you cannot do agriculture. So how they will live? 
This is why Islam is a is a is a stupid cult made for gang society. Is not for people who want to live as a smart society. This is for gang, Viking, Jankis Khan, the Mongolian attacking the neighbors, conquering neighborhood, taking their money, and then we spend the money and we make the, the slaves work for us. As an example, the city of Al Basra in Iraq was totally African. You can go right now and search in YouTube, or sorry, in Google, for the revolution of the Zinj. Revolution of the Zinj. What, what brought the Zinj? Zinj in, in, in Arabic means the, the black. The black. Like a, it's a word for black people. The same as you, when you say uh, Abd. Uh, so Zinj, revolution of Zinj. Things became so crazy to the point that the ratio of African slaves in the Arabian land was more than 10 to 1. Imagine which means every Muslim at least, there's 10 black people and he is the white one. Black slaves. And those people, they make a revolution, good for them. But at the end of the day, they kill them all. This is why in Iraq, there's zero black people because they slaughter all those who they are zinge. You can search it now in Google. You do not need to believe me. So they speak too much about, uh, you know, Islam bring... Uh, justice islam is against slavery islam is the religion of slavery actually until now most of you muslims don't dare to say that uh, like he, he, the only one to say the truth about islam is al-qaeda leaders isis because slavery is in your religion i mean slavery you know is <laughs> your religion is based on slavery so when 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 we talk about religion it's called islam Islam not only cannot be practiced, Islam not only is stupid, Islam not only anti-human right, Islam is anti-Muslims today. Actually, I believe that number one enemy to Islam is the Muslims. And if you don't believe me, go and check how many Muslims they vote for Islamic government. In Egypt, the Muslim Brotherhood, they took over the government for less than a year. In less than a year, more than 30 to 40 million went in the street in Egypt screaming, get out Islamists and now most of them they are in jail and Muslim Brotherhood are wanted in Saudi Arabia wanted in Egypt wanted in Emirat wanted in, 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 in Kuwait wanted in Bahrain wanted in Syria wanted in uh, Iraq I mean you name it why because nobody wants Islamic government who is holding you who is holding you and look at the Iranian Iranian have Islamic government maybe this is the only one have Islamic government we can say but as soon as Iranian leave the country, they leave Islam. Number one convert to Christianity from the population of Islam by number from the Middle East is, is the Persian. They are all over, wherever you go. And I don't blame them. This is a stupid religion. If you don't believe me, read. Look at this. You remain as turf for you. So dig in your turf as you wish. How, how ugly, how filthy this, this language. Your women is like a ground in you, so dig in your ground as you wish, when you wish. This is God talking. This is God talking. The one who is proud about God, and I heard Muslims speaking about the Song of Songs, but said that, did that you know, did that, he, he was making fun of Song of Songs for many years. And then one day somebody says to him, do you know that the name of Muhammad is song, in Song of Songs? Since then, did that he never make fun of the Song of Songs, and he keeps saying Muhammadin, 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 <laughs> hypocrites. So they say the Song of Songs. Song of Song is a song. It's not God talking. It's a poet. This is not God talking. This is a king making a poet, and it's not even about women. However, how about God? He promised me women with big boobs in the heaven. What do you say? Have you ever heard of a God like this? What if I don't like big boobs? I, I like to have a small one. Hmm? I don't like to have a woman have big boobs. Have you ever heard of a God like this? What is this? So now by saying that, I will convert to Islam? 
are you promising me a cow or a woman and what I will get from those boobs exactly milk cheese what is this this is God and then you will give me a full cup uh, thank you what about half cup I mean what who cares if it's full cup or half cup I mean stupid I mean you, you will wear a green silk and you will uh, uh, you will have little boys around you who they are white and uh, you will have a grape my friend a grape you will sit in the garden have a grape I mean what do you want more look at this I mean this is so amazing so beautiful brother so beautiful yeah I mean the, the second you tell me about your heaven the second I die laughing this is cannot be from God so when you speak to me about God and religion either you give me something can be I mean accepted to be a little bit smart we are human we are not cows and donkeys and rats you know those are animals they are programmed like you take a dog you train him 1,000 times still if he sees something he like he will pee on it we are a human so what do you mean you will give me women with big boobs what do you mean by, by, by saying you will give me a uh, 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 children's who they are white like pros uh, what, what exactly? 80,000. 80,000 child. For, for what, what purpose? Child abuse even. In, and this is your joy to have a child to abuse? What is this? So all this, uh, uh, you know, this madness in front of us is crazy. Is proving to us that Islam is a false cult. And only, only Satan, he tried to promote his cult by such a stupid thing so, something stupid and ugly and why those boys they have to be so white and even the women they are so white to the point we can see their bones I mean isn't those promise alone is approved to us that Muhammad have a mental issue women we will see the bones of their women for those women what does that mean exactly are we bony people now? Are we like puppies? We get excited when we see a bone. So, uh, uh, let us see the hadith here. Just to show you an example of the crazy and the madness. And notice later, the Muslim, they will pause for us and they will say, how come Muslims are one point, and at this time they were 1.8 billion. Every two weeks they will add to a few hundred billions. So, Look at this. And those women, they will be transparent. I like to have a woman transparent, transparent in her in her belief, transparent in his in her in her honesty, but a transparent in her skin, and I will see her bones. That is disgusting. What this God is trying to do? Why anyone he wanna give me, he he speak to that he is God, yet he wanna give me women I can see through their bones. And actually, I am the one who created a song. It's called, you know, like, because Muhammad, he speak about bones a lot. If you remember, Muhammad, he claimed in the Quran that the sperm come from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. And I created the song. It's called Backbone, Backbone. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when I come for you? So imagine, my friend, you are a person who is a human. You go to heaven instead of finding a beautiful wife as Allah he promised you you find a collection of bones they are transparent you see I'm not the one is me this is your this is the Muslim trans translation you will not find the women he just said to us women with big boobs okay women with big boobs but they are transparent we see bones but that's mean we cannot see the boobs because they are transparent do you are you getting my idea if you are seeing, if you are seeing, I mean, the, the women, they will be like a jellyfish with boobs. And this is what make you Muslim? I'm really convinced. I think I'm going to convert to Islam right now. I cannot resist this. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. Hadith number 3254. Three, hmm? So, I don't know. This is a boob religion. This is not religion of God. Religion who promised me and promote itself by sexuality, and uh, uh, women women abuse because he is a promising me women I never met they call them hoories 
those are women are just made for sex who in the world accept that do you have respect to your mother to your sister to your daughter do you have respect to your wife when they ask Zakir Naik, okay, what Muslim woman will have in the heaven? Zakir Naik, he lie, he says the word hur. The word hur is the plural word. This is a false lie. The word hur is not for male and female. Because word hur in the Quran is so clear. It says in the Quran that those women, to prove that they are women, not as Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik is an idiot. He's not a scholar. He's just, an, you know, he, he's a smart for those puppies. I mean, the one who don't want to use, they, they go after bone, but not they want to go after their brain. Uh, this is why now he is wanted for crimes, in, uh, and soon they will kick him out uh, uh, from uh, from Malaysia. Because he's a crazy man, he separate the people, he divide them, and now he start talking about racism, being a racist. And look, look what the Quran says. This, this, this is what I'm saying to you, that the psychonic, he is good for someone. He have a brain of a puppy, not for one have a brain full of brain. Go watch his video uh, and see how he said that the word whore is for male and female. Oh, we we missed the letter. Sorry, I'm using a tablet, so it's really I'm using the keyboard of the tablet. <clears throat> I hope I did not lose my connection. All right. Look, he is the one who said that those women, they are women, they are not only women, they are male and female. But look, here the translation is wrong, it's false, let us change the translation. We go to a different translation, and then you will see that the Quran speak about the skin which is inside the private part of the women, that that did not have intercourse and they did not bleed. So, you know, they claim to be scholars, they are liars, and what kind of God? He promised me women, who nobody you see, this language is not accurate, by the way. The word in Arabic is really more disgusting. Yet muthahun, which means nobody did, intercourse and make that skin break and bleed. I don't know what the language, the word will be in your language, but this is exactly what it's saying here. Yet muthahun. You see here, he typed the word in Arabic as it is. So the one who opened the skin, which is inside the private part. And because you do that, that will cause, by sexual intercourse, that will cause a bleeding. So Zakir Naik, he says to us that this is uh, the word whore is for male and female. Therefore, the Muslim women, she will have 72 to have sex with her. I mean, how even dare you to say such a thing? Imagine you say to a woman, if you believe in Allah, you will have 72 men in your bedroom. I mean, aren't you ashamed? Aren't you ashamed to say that to your mother, to your wife, to your daughter, so you are saying to me that your wife, your daughter, your mother, she will be having boom, boom with 72 men. This is why I say this guy is good, good to teach puppies, not a, not a human. He have a mentality of a puppy. And in order to follow and believe in him, you must be like you have a brain of a puppy. And as you see, this is against what the Quran even teaching here. This is only about women. The Quran never promised women. They will have such a thing actually in the time of muhammad uh, a woman she uh, uh, the quran says that it's lawful for you uh, to have sex with your uh, right hand process so one muslim woman she decided to have sex with her slave because the quran says that so muhammad he practiced stoning to death on her and killed her because simply she did something is not lawful this is only for men promises of heaven and all those things all is for men women is just a uh, Additional, like, you know, women is just to complete the society. They are not the purpose of it. The Quran is a man-made religion, made by the man, for the man. Anyway, I want to say, guys, thank you for being here. Uh, don't forget to download my videos, because soon I'm going to delete many of them to keep the new ones fresh there. And I want to say thank you for those who they are making donation. Our super chat is working now. Uh, and remember... If you are a Muslim who think that you have a scholar, 
He want to debate me. He's more than welcome. I will be back in the state in a few days from now. So we go back to normal and we can take calls in Skype. And anyone who claim to be scar, especially from those from uh, Asia or Arab, you know, actually my favorite is the Arab because Arab is very easy. Uh, I mean, in a debate to, 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 to prove it because I do not need to look for translation. I mean, it's easy. You, you can watch my debate with the Arab one and see how easy it is. While you want debate with Muslims who they all don't speak English, uh, Arab, Arabic, they say is lying, blah, 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 blah. And there's tons of videos made by Muslims saying, this temperance is lying. But then you watch the same topic, me debating a Muslim. I remember somebody was saying, Christian Prince, he lied about you can have sex with your daughter from adultery. I posted a video, it's there in the list. Me debating an Arab Muslim who claimed to be a big shot. And he agreed that yes, you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from adultery. So in Muslim trans Muslim uh, uh, videos who they speak English, they say he's lying. Either they are lying about what they're saying or they are just naive thinking really that Christian Prince is lying because this is impossible. There's no way my, my prophet Muhammad will teach such a thing. My friend, this is what your prophet teach. And I made a challenge for the Muslims. Why you don't call Shabir Ali? Call him live. We call the conversation. Tell him in the book of al to be etc. It says, etc. that you can have sex with your daughter from adultery. Is that a lie translation? And by the way, Shabir Ali don't speak Arabic too. But Shabir Ali then, he will pick up the phone. He will call Zakir Naik. And then Zakir Naik, by the way, he don't speak Arabic too. He will call Didat, but Didat is dead. But Didat still, he don't speak Arabic. And then did that, he will call Christian Prince and I will read for them in Arabic. I mean, don't st stop lying to yourself. Challenge, there is a website, it's called Islam Fatwa. Send them the question officially. Send them the question. Actually, you know what? Maybe some of you Christian can send the question. Say in the book of etc., it says, etc., that you can have sex with your daughter. Please give me the answer. And let us see the answer. Either they will say that this is a lie, it doesn't say that. Or they will say, yes, it says that. Why you Muslim don't do it? Do it. Just to prove Christian Prince is a liar. There's many official websites for fatwa, and we use them. I challenge Muslims to send an official question to this website and say, please, I'm a Muslim. My name is Abdul from the land of Abdulism. And I follow the Abdul of Allah. And my prophet is the best Abdul. And there is a guy, his name is a Christian Prince. He said that according to Islam, chapter 25, verse 34, uh, according to the, the, the Fseer, that if a man, he have sex with a mother and he have daughter from her, he can have sex with his mother and his daughter, the, the mother and the daughter. Does it say that or he's lying? And wait for the answer and please bring me the answer back so we can love together. So uh, <clears throat> I encourage all the Abdulism followers, uh, the kissers of the black stone, the ones who go around stones, the one who bow down in the direction of a stone, to, you know, to accept the challenge and let us see if it's true. My friend, Islam is dead and you cannot debate me. I say to you, you cannot. I will be back in a few days and I will be happy to see those who want to debate me calling me live on air, especially from those who call themselves Ustad from Indonesia or from Malaysia or from Bangladesh or from India or from Arabia or from Saudi Arabia. It doesn't matter. All of you, all together, is equal to zero and actually you are belonging to the to the religion of zero it's called tawaf zero look like a circle right you circle keep circling keep circling even in the answers keep circling why the prophet kiss the black stone because the black stone is holy why it's holy because the prophet kiss it it's religion of stupidity and no intelligence there and they will never answer a question because some themselves they have no idea what this cult is about I want to say thank you guys for being here listening and i hope we have a good time don't forget please to download the videos as soon as we finish broadcasting and uh, as i said soon i'm going to delete most of them and uh, uh, soon i will be back in uh, in the state and we will be go back to normal so we can take phone calls from uh, from muslims and we will have live debate i love you all miss you all and again christ is lord islam is false and the proof is in front of us and as the bible says as, as the lord he said search for the truth and the truth read the books search for the truth and the truth will set you free 
and nobody nobody said I am the truth but Jesus I am the truth I am the living God I am the Messiah I am the Word of God I am the living I am the Alpha and the Omega my word they will stay and the earth and the heaven will pass away that is the Messiah my friend and he is the only truth and everything else would go and pass away like your prophet the one who passed away and the funny the Muslims themselves believe that Jesus right now is alive so he is a true for he is alive he is a true for he is with us he is true for he promised and he keep his promise and your prophet did not keep any of his promises including the promise of saying that uh, pray on me every Friday for Allah will play will place your prayer in front of me go check the prayer in front of Muhammad in his grave Muhammad already is a dust while my Lord is the living Messiah right now in heaven and not only that he said every two of you mention my name I will be between between them which means he will be the third he will be listening how he can do that for he is the living Lord every two mention my name that is a church a church is not a building a church is not a priest a church is two people mentioning the name of the Messiah praising his name and or maybe one of them trying to convince the other one to believe in the Messiah that is a church and we are the church my friend and nobody the promise in the Bible that nobody can overcome this church for it is protected by his name Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again take care